be in the shot. Should we do it together? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be traveling with the Brevity Runner backpack. And I just wanted to do a review of what I think of it for traveling use, which is basically why I got it. I have seen Brevity ads all over my Instagram for years and years and years. The colors were awesome and that drew me in a little bit. And then I traveled for the first time with my big camera bag, which... I'll go get. Let's move this. Quick little setup change because now we are on the floor. This was my old camera backpack. It's very big, very bulky. This fits all of my camera stuff that I possibly own, which is one of the reasons why I absolutely love it. From Inatech, it has great features on this backpack. I've loved it and used it for this whole entire year. Obviously, when you're lugging around a bunch of cameras and lenses, you're going to need something that works better for you. So what drew me into brevity was really the fact that you could fit your camera stuff and travel super easily with it. So I definitely wanted to give it a try and see how it actually goes. It's going to be my first time traveling on a plane with it as a carry-on bag, basically. I'm kind of just going to make this into a review of what I think the brevity backpack is good for and if it's right for traveling for you. So this is the bag. It is the Misty Blue Runner backpack, I believe. It's not the jumper. The jumper has a zipper on the top. This is what it looks like. Like, um, it's pretty big. It's not as big as this one. I don't have size dimensions. We're not professionals here. This one's bigger, not as cute. We're gonna quickly go through all the different zippers so that you can kind of see what is where and just show you how much it really can hold. On the top here, we have this first zipper that kind of goes right in the sleeve of the flap that closes your back. Then we have the actual one that opens up here, which mine is kind of full right now. It has two different magnets so that you can make sure you can expand it to fit more things if you need to, or you can keep it down to this one to just keep everything inside snug. And if we open it up in here, there is a zipper on this inside flap here that you could fit any like chapstick which is exactly what I'm gonna do. I just currently have a notebook and a book in here that are fitting pretty nice. Turning around to the back of the bag they have their very famous luggage carry through which is absolutely perfect for me because I'm gonna be having a carry-on while we travel so that is great. I love their little feature of the side hideaway pocket zipper which I currently have my license ID and credit cards in. We also have the laptop sleeve which supposedly holds up to a 16 inch MacBook. I don't have a 16 so someone else can attest to that but Personally, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> Moving along to the side of the bag, we have a side pocket access to your camera, which we will get into a little bit later, but just as a showing of that. If we flip around to the other side, we have a nice expandable water bottle holder, which also comes and doubles as a tripod holder as well. Moving on to the front of the bag, which is basically where all the magic happens, we have a front flap zipper that holds anything like pens, pencils, chargers, any of that kind of stuff. I actually love this part. It's kind of spacious in here and just doubles as an extra place for more things. Finally is the camera space, which I don't want to drop this and have all of them fall out. So, there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and set this back down so that we can kind of go back into everything and I can show you what I actually have in here. First up, we have my battery chargers because you kind of need those to be able to work your things. We have all of my batteries in this little case right here. I have an extra vlog camera battery and an LPE6N battery and then, you know, plug business cards. Just have a little carrying cloth that matches the bag. I got this. They might have been from my glasses, but I saw that it matched the bag perfectly, so I just had to throw that in there. Then we have a cover which they actually sent to me for free. I don't think they were supposed to but it's their rain cover. Then we have a little carrying case of SD cards. First up for the lenses, we have my Nifty 50, the 51.8, just a very small compact lens that fits perfectly in a travel case. Next up, we have my 24 to 70 Canon lens 2.8. This is a great lens. I don't use it as often and I need to use it more, but I'm hoping to when I travel more. Coming to the finale, I'm so sorry I'm dropped down, but we have my 5D Mark IV with my 85 1.4 lens on here. It's big, it's bulky, and it fits in there. I don't know how. It kind of barely fits, if I'm being honest. The back side of the camera is pretty squished up against the side pocket entrance. It's a little bit scary to me because that's right where my screen is, and if anything happened where my bag got kicked, my bag got tossed anywhere, and it landed on the side, that just scares me a bit. There's a bit of cushioning there, but I feel like it's less than the rest of the surroundings everywhere. Here Here's what I'm saying. The screen is just like right there and I'm just afraid if it gets kicked or hit something is gonna happen to my screen and it's gonna crack and I would cry. 
I could definitely reconfigure it to be a little bit better and safer. And that is it for me. That is all I personally need to bring on a little mini trip somewhere. It's not really an extensive setup. You could obviously convert the top space into camera space as well for putting any of those chargers in there so that you have extra space in the camera compartment space. I have still yet to add my laptop into the sleeve, so that is something that will make it even heavier and I'm not looking forward to it. But when you carry a camera bag, I feel like you have to know that it's going to be heavy because your equipment is heavy. Anyway, that is exactly what the bag is, looks like. Really pretty color, cool design. And we're gonna see how it works while we are flying through the air. <laughs> Please take the parking ticket. Hey guys, it's been about a month since I last filmed that little traveling video with the Brevity Backpack. I wanted to do a little wrap-up conclusion of my thoughts, the pros, the cons, if you should get it, and just my overall thoughts and feelings on the bag itself. Starting off with the pros, I think my favorite thing was probably the luggage pass-through on the back. It made it super easy to just get it off of my shoulders, off my back. Definitely one of my favorite things about the bag. I also really liked how the bag fit perfectly right under the airplane seat. It's super concise and it's just the perfect size to be able to hold everything but also make sure that it's not too much where it doesn't fit under the seat. Another thing I really liked about the bag was all of the different access pockets. It just seemed like there was a lot of room for me to store everything and get things out really quickly. I don't really love when bags have a bunch of zippers that you have to keep opening up to get to your stuff. I felt like this bag really has the main four or five zippers that you can really just get to super easily, especially for getting things out like my license right before security. It was right in the back little hidden zipper pocket. Lastly, I really just love the the overall functionality of being able to travel with it and bring the perfect amount of gear. I thought it was great, super stylish of course, with overall a great bag. Now for the cons, I think one of the biggest things for me was probably the magnet latches. When the flap fits perfectly onto the second latch, so on the lower one, it works perfectly and everything seems to stay in place. But if you're trying to go up to the top latch and you don't have a ton of stuff in there but you still can't fit it on the bottom one, sometimes it feels a little bit loose. It just feels like the latch can sometimes come undone really easily. Sometimes Sometimes the bottom one felt almost too tight, but the top one felt too loose. That was just something I tended to notice. For another con, I know this is just how camera bags work, but the bag did get super heavy on my shoulders sometimes, and I don't know if that's like a problem with the straps just being too stiff or just because it's a heavy bag. I don't know if they could have added maybe more of that memory foam that's in the camera compartment onto the straps just to make it a little bit nicer on your shoulders. I'm someone who has a lot of trouble with carrying backpacks that are super heavy anyway because my shoulders just get so sore, and I already have back problems from previous sports so it just doesn't help. And lastly I talked about this earlier but my 5D Mark IV was pretty tight in there. It still was a bit difficult to get in and out of the bag easily. It just felt like it was almost too tight of a space but again you could totally reconfigure that with the dividers. So is this bag for you? I would definitely think about the functionality that you're needing in your camera bag. If this is something you want to carry all of your gear, I'd definitely look somewhere else. But if you want something that can hold two different kinds of things, then this might be something to look into. The quality is super nice and definitely lives up to the price. I would love Brevity to come out with some more actual camera backpacks that are fully designed for your camera and your gear. I think it's a great step in a great direction of having the sense of color, style, and your functional equipment all in one place. So i definitely check it out. There will be a link in the description below not affiliated, not sponsored, any of that stuff. All right, guys, so that is my final conclusions. You can read a whole lot more about it on my blog if you go down in the description below, or if you're watching this from my blog, feel free to check out any of my other videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see me talk about any more photo gear, be sure to check out my website with my blog. If you want to just catch up on life updates from me, make sure to subscribe down below so you never miss another video. All right, goodbye. See you again in the next one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, signing off. Oh my gosh.